All right, CB is with us. CB is in San Antonio. Hi, CB. How are you? Pretty good, man. How about yourself? Better than I deserve, sir. What's up in your world? All right, man. Uh, in the four years that I've been out of high school, I have managed to rack up $45,000 in debt. Um, the reason I'm calling is because I'm trying to get rid of my car. Uh, I'm pretty in the hole. You know, I'm about $10,000 in the hole on my car. I think I could sell it for twenty five, but... I really don't like what happens with the money that's that's left over, you know, mm-hmm. once you sell the car. What do you make a year? Uh, about seventy thousand. You and you're four years out of high school. What do you do? Uh, I'm a mechanic in South Texas. I travel around in the oil field, work on. Good. Stuff. Well, you're, you got a good income. You just been doing some stupid stuff, right? Oh well, but yeah. As soon as I got out of high school, man, I, I got that first paycheck, and uh, yeah, I kind of went a little crazy there. Gotcha. Okay. Well, uh, what you say the car is worth twenty five, but you owe thirty five on it. Well, yeah, because at first I, I bought a car and I decided I didn't like the car. And you, rolled, and you rolled the negative equity into it, yeah. Yeah, and then I got another car, and then I said, "Well, I don't like this one either," and I traded it in, and this is the car that I'm on now. So wow. I kind of racked up onto it, you know. So most of the stupid's been around car trades. Yes, sir. Pretty much. Yeah. So have you learned your lesson? Oh, yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. It's cost you enough money. I hope so. <laughs> all right. Have you, yes, saved any, have you saved any money at all? Honestly, I mean, I've been just throwing everything I really have. I mean, I got about $3,000 right now in the bank, but I mean. You've I've been, been throwing, throwing everything, everything have. you have at what? Well, I, I had a motorcycle before, and I just recently paid that off last week. Mm-hmm. Um, What's it worth? And it's worth about 5000 Okay. And, um... The, uh, uh, all right. Do you have anything else? Do you have any other money saved other than the 3000 Uh, no, sir. I mean, just retirement plan and everything, but that's, that's about it. I mean, 3000 that's, that's all I got really. Okay. How's your credit? I mean, it should be good. I, I've never, I've never missed a payment or anything. On, who's on the nothing. loan, who's the loan with on the car? Uh, security service, I believe. Okay. Um, all right. Well, h- here's the thing. We have to have the $10,000 because the way the transaction works is if I'm buying the car, I give you a check for 25000 right? Yes, sir. And then you have to give the car company or the security services people a check for 35000 in order to get the title to give to me. Yes, sir. You follow me? So yes, we got to have that ten grand. You can either borrow that ten grand, or you can save it up or you can pay the car down aggressively and go from okay. there. Well, that's, that's kind of what I've been doing. Like, I, I paid that motorcycle off, so what I'm planning on throwing the motorcycle, you know, keep paying the motorcycle payment just on the car. I just didn't know if it would be a good time to sell. I didn't really know what happened to that negative, ex, you know. Yeah, you got to pay it. Because, you know, see, they're holding your title until you give them 35. Yes, sir. And you got to give the title to the new buyer who's only going to give you 25. Yes, sir. So we got to find that other 10, and the way to do that is pay the car down from 35 to 25 or save up the 10 or borrow the 10. Yes, sir. But no more impulsive decisions on vehicles. Well, if I were you, I would stop your retirement, and I would get on a tight budget, beans and rice, rice and beans, and I'd stop saving money. I mean, I'd stop spending money or saving money on anything, and I would get in attack mode, attack mode, attack mode. Yes, sir. And, and yes, that, yeah, sir. I'd get after that, and let's get rid of this thing and get your life back as soon as you possibly can, and then save up and pay cash for whatever you do from this point forward, okay? Yes, sir. All right, man. Hey, thanks for the call. We appreciate you listening. Hey, you guys. Rachel Cruz here. I hope you are enjoying the Dave Ramsey Show. And did you know that I have my very own YouTube channel? Yes, that's right. It's kind of better than the Dave Ramsey channel. Don't tell them I said that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So subscribe. And there's lots of videos about life and money. So while you're at it, if you want to check out a video, then you can check out how to do a monthly budget. It's one of the best videos out there.